Hey there guys, it is I, Nibble the K. I would like to welcome you to my first ever video project, film, short film, movie, project, extravaganza. Anyways, I told you guys in a video that I was going to be focusing this week specifically on getting back into playing an instrument, playing the bass. Also, this is the first project, you know, a weekly project where I try to do something and then we're going to try to maybe document it in a short little film, a short video, something like this. And we're going to try to do it epic. So I have been a bass player for a couple of years now, but I haven't played for almost seven to eight years. I haven't even touch the bass like only maybe just a little just to do like something like that and then just put it aside you know something just a little bit to fiddle around with but i want to get back into the habit of actually playing playing the bass you know getting down to those roots to those beats to those rhythms and all that but I noticed something I'm really rusty I can okay that was a little bit over exaggerated but you get the point I'm rusty so what what do you need to do when you're rusty you gotta you gotta really go there take it from scratch make a line and start climbing up the ladder you the ladders yet once more so that said, I'm going to show you a couple of key exercises when getting into bass or guitar that I have learned uh, when I started learning bass. So the main thing is finger technique and starting to get used to actually, you know, picking, playing and pressing down on the frets. Um, this is not a beginner tutorial or anything. This is just me getting back into uh, practicing and these are some of the exercises that I did when starting out. So this is the first one. You basically want to go on your fifth fret, which is over here. You can see it by those little dots. You can also, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and that's right over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to place each and every finger on the four frets. So that means one, two, three, four. And what you're gonna do is actually go in a slow tempo and you're going to go one tone at a time or one semitone at a time. And it's gonna sound something like this and you're gonna go down the strings and then come, gonna come back up once you get used to that. So it's basically like, See, even the simplest things, when done slowly and correctly, you're gonna see where your mistakes are. Because I can do... And you're not gonna really hear those mistakes, and you're not gonna feel like you're doing actually something correct. So once you're here, you're gonna come back up. pretty much the exercise now you can change it up a little bit you can go one two three four 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 four three two one four three two one two three two one four three two one four three two one that's the first
first one. Then you can exercise your right hand or your picking hand, depending if you use a pick. So what you want to do is go up and down, up and down, or double fingering using both of your fingers. And you want to go with two notes on each of the uh, semitone. So you're going to go like one, two, one, two. bad but practice it and it'll make sense you can pump it up to uh, thirds or 16th notes or whatever it is that you want to practice it on you can do four can do this exercise is if you start going when you go down on the other string you're not going to go straight down and you're going to shift the whole thing up by one semitone and it will sound something like of ways you can just start going all around the fret another thing you can do is start on the fifth and you can go down all the way back up and then you can shift the entire exercise yet one semitone up the scale and then do it once more Those are small little things that you can always play around with the specific exercise. It's the same technique. You're just going around the fretboard uh, in various ways so that you get more comfortable in all of the spots. Uh, your, your muscles get more used to it. Your finger technique gets better like in all the places. And then you can start going on forward to more complex exercises and actually studying progression chords and all all that other jazz basically these are like beginner exercises and also really good warm-up exercises to warm up before a gig or before doing anything you know before studying another exercise that really helps out your stretches for your right hand is the spider i believe anyway that's what i know it's called so you're basically gonna go uh, five and seven on this thing. So it's like, and then you're gonna shift with the other finger like that. And then you're gonna come back up with the third. And it's pretty much like this. I'd say that's not really helping my stretches very much the thing is you're always going to have your main string and then you can always jump to the other strings and that's where it gets complicated because you're going to go one two that i already messed up from the fifth you know to the last one it's it's a stretch you know especially this thing this this looks like i'm you know but that's not the point the point is to get used to jumping all over pretty much uh and using a correct technique in you know finger technique so 
as usual, you can take this exercise and move all around the board. You can uh, mix it up as you wish. Uh, you don't have to stay on the, you know, on your main string all the time. You can just... You can go with just two strings and just go all over. Same as the other exercise. You can start off here and you can end up maybe here. Just do these kind of things, do these finger techniques, uh, go all over, all over around the fretboard and just get used to it. And these are the kind of techniques that I use for getting back into bass playing and getting, getting my groove on. That's it. See you guys next time. Also guys, if you really enjoyed this kind of content, let me know. Hope you guys loved it. It's my first real like short film project. I'm gonna work on these kind of things more in the future. It has been a blast. It's definitely a blast. So if you like this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.